We're going to look at prime numbers, prime factorization, multiples, factors, and factor pairs. Okay, we'll start with our prime numbers. Prime numbers are divisible only by one and themselves. If a number is divisible by anything else, then it's called composite. All right. You might think uh, one is the first prime, but it has to be two unique numbers. So the very first prime number is two, then three is prime. When you get to four, if you think about it, it does not pass the test. It's divisible by two. So four is not a prime. Five is prime. Six is not prime. It fails because it's divisible by two as well as three. Uh, seven is a prime. And basically this is what you do. You just run through your mind thinking of each successive digit and seeing if anything else will divide into it. All right, eight fails, nine fails, 10 fails, 11 is prime, 12 fails, 13 is prime. Okay, we've listed all of the prime numbers through the 30s, and we have a comma with three periods. That's called an ellipsis, and that means that this list continues forever. Um, next thing we'll talk about is prime factorization. And factors are numbers that multiply together to give you another number. So for instance, um, we'll say, 4 times 6 is 24. 4 and 6 are factors. All right? They're not prime factors, but they are factors of 24. Um, in finding the prime factorization of a number, we're going to, and also in some other things that we do, we need to know whether or not a number is divisible by 2, 3, 5, etc. So there's a couple tricks. Um, a number is divisible by 2 if it's an even number. So that's divisible by 2. That's divisible by 2. This is not divisible by 2. Um, this, is, this is not divisible by 2. All right, that's usually people are familiar with that one. Uh, 3, there's a pretty cool trick. To know if a number is divisible by 3, let's say I had the number 471. In a few seconds, I can tell you whether or not 3 divides in evenly. Simply by adding the digits, 4 plus 7 plus 1 is 12. 12 is divisible by 3. So 471 is divisible by 3. Again, you just add the digits. That trick it also works with 9, but for now we'll just worry about it works with 3. And then for 5, uh, most of you are familiar if it ends in a 0 or a 5, it's divisible by 5. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this. The prime factorization of 66, let me slide this down. We want the prime numbers that you multiply together to get 66. Okay. We're going to do this in a systematic way. There are many ways to go about it. I encourage you to use the following method. It's called the division method. We're going to put an L bracket here, and I'm going to divide into 66. And I'll start, I'll always do this in the same order, with the lowest prime number, 2. Will 2 divide into 66? Yes. So we write a 2. And 2 goes into 66 33 times. Will 2 divide into 33? No. Then we move to the next prime number, 3. Will 3 go into 33? Yes. 3 goes in 11 times. Once you have a prime number down here, you're finished. 11 is prime. 
So the prime factorization of 66 is 2 times 3 times 11. If we multiply them together, we'll get 66. Okay. Uh, for 90, will 2 go into 90? Yes. So we start with our 2. 2 goes into 90 45 times. You basically just have to cut it in half when 2 is going in. Will 3 go into 45? You add 4 and 5 and you get 9. So 3 will go into 45. 3 goes into 4 once. And then you have 15 left over. 3 goes into 15 five times. Will 3 go into 15? Yes. So you go in with a 3 again. 3 goes into 15 five times. So the prime factorization of 90 is 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. And we could also write this 2 times 3 squared times 5. We'll take a look at our 85 now. Okay, we'll look at 85. Will 2 go into 85? No. How about 3? 8 and 5 is 13, so 3 won't work. 5 will, so if we divide in with a 5, <clears throat> it goes into 8 one time with a 3 left over, so that's 35. 5 into 35 is 7. And 17 is a prime. Remember back here, our list of primes. All right, so the prime factorization of 85, let me slide this back up, is simply 5 times 17. All right, we'll take a look at another one here, kind of large. 486, will 2 go in there? Yes. 2 goes in twice goes into 8 four times, goes into 6 three times. Um, will 2 go into this? No. How about a 3? Um, that If we add them together, we get 7 and 9. So 3 will divide into 243. 3 goes into 24 eight times. And 3 goes into 3 once. Will 3 go into 81? 8 and 1 is 9. So 3 will go into that. 3 goes into 8 twice. That would give us a 6. That's 2 left over. So 21. Well, let's just show this real quick. Um, let me slide this up. I'm doing some of these in my head, and as you get used to it, you will be able to do that uh, as long as you don't lean on a calculator. Do these calculations um, on paper or in your mind. All right, but uh, 3 into 81, 3 goes into 8 twice. Bring down your 1, 3 goes into 21 seven times. So that's where our 7 would come from. Will 3 go into 27? Yes. Goes in there nine times. Will 3 go into 9? Goes in three times. You have a prime down here, so you're finally finished. The prime factorization of 486 is 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's kind of a hard way to write that. Um, we'd rather just see 2 times 3 to the fifth. We call this exponential notation because we've written it with an exponent. All right, we'll take a look at this other list here and try to reinforce the system. Uh, will 2 go in there? No. How about a 3? 6 and 3 is 9. So 3 works. It goes in 21 times. 3 goes into 21. 7 times. Here's your prime factorization. 3 times 3 times 7. Or 3 squared times 7. Looking at our next one, 114, 2 will go into that. And that's 5, 7. 2 goes into 114, 57 times. Um, will 2 go into 57? No. Will 3? 5 and 7 is 12, so 3 will work. 
3 into 57, 3 goes into 5 once. That's 27 left. 3 goes into 27 nine times. And 19 is a prime. Okay. You're going to have to get used to listing the prime numbers. And eventually, um, if you use them enough, you will recognize them when you see them. So the prime factorization of 114 is 2 times 3 times 19. Okay, we have two more in this sheet. 135, will 2 go into that? Nope. How about a 3? 4 and 5 is 9, so 3 will work. 3 goes into 13 four times with one left over, so that's 15. 3 goes into 15 five times. Will 3 go into 45? Yes. 3 goes into 4 once with one left over. 3 goes into 15 five times. Will 3 go into that? Yes. And 3 goes into 15 five times. You have a prime down here. It's time to stop. So the prime factorization of 135 is 3 times 3 times 3 times 5 or 3 to the third times 5. And finally, 957 might look like a bear, but it won't be that bad. Will 2 work? Nope. How about a 3? Um, let's see, 9 and 5 is 14, 7 is 21. Looks like 3 will go into that. All right, let's go. 3 into 9 goes 3 times. 3 into 5 goes once with 2 left over. So 3 into 27 is 9. And again, if you're not able to follow that, just crank it out real quick on the side, okay? Just because I'm not doing long division doesn't mean you can't. 957, it goes in 3, goes in once, goes in 9 times, okay? And I could write 27 and all that, but I'm not going to bother. Anyway, um, 319, is this divisible by 3? 3, 10, 13, nope, 3 won't go in. How about a 5? Nope, 7? The only way to know if 7 goes in there is to try... Oh, by the way, notice I skipped uh, 4 and 6. I don't have to worry about numbers that aren't prime. I'm only looking for prime numbers that go in. Um, so 7, you're just going to have to try it. So let's see. 7 into 319. 7 goes into 31 um, four times. Thirty-nine. Seven won't go into 39, so 7 didn't work. Uh, the next one to try would be um, 11, because that's the next prime. Let me jump back up here. We tried 7. We'll try 11, and we would just keep proceeding through the prime numbers. We don't have to worry about composite numbers. Numbers that aren't prime are called composite. All right, back up here. Um, we're going to try 11. So let's give ourselves a little more room. Eleven goes to thirty-one uh, twice. That would be ninety-nine, and eleven goes to ninety-nine nine times. So the next thing we'll divide in with is eleven. And 11 goes into 319 29 times. And you remember from our list, 29 is a prime. So the prime factorization of 957 is 3 times 11 times 29.